Hello and welcome to Mighty Call. I'm Kat and today I'll show you how to set up a supervisor's account to maximize Mighty Call's capabilities for your team's efficiency. If you're looking for something specific, check the time codes below to find the part you need. These settings are the core for successful business communication management, so if you have any questions, you can chat with our support team or request personal assistance via a live onboarding session with our support manager, where they'll walk you through all the specifics of your account settings. We'll start with the essential part of the settings, which is your business numbers. If you want to add a local or toll-free number, click this button. Here, in this pop-up number search window, you can select the type of number you need the country, city, area code, or even certain digit combinations if you want a vanity number, you can buy additional business numbers for your company at any time. If you have your own number that you want to use in Mighty Call, click on Port Your Number. It will take you to a form that you need to fill out and submit. Complete all the required fields of the form. You need to fill out and upload a letter of authorization. You can use our template for it. If you have a recent invoice or a customer service record with a number, you can upload them as well. Hit submit and you're all set. Depending on your previous carrier and type of phone number, number porting usually takes from one to two weeks. During this time, your number will be active to receive and make calls with your previous phone carrier. In the meantime, you can add a temporary business phone number to use with Mighty Call for free. Now let's look closer at the number settings. You can set up call recording for your business numbers. By default, both incoming and outgoing calls are recorded and turn text messaging off and back on when needed. You can also set up your business number display as a caller ID for incoming calls so that you know it's a business call and not a personal one. Another feature is CNAM for outgoing calls to have your company's name show up when you make a call. If you want to get it, fill out the form for CNAM on our website. Now let's see what's included in the Mighty Call team section. Team is where you can add or delete users, edit their profiles and manage their roles and permissions. You can even see the account and settings as your agent sees them or if you click on the supervise button in front of the selected agent. To add a new user, click on invite team member. You will need to enter their first and last name, their email address and their future extension. You can also add a forwarding number for them straight away and select the time zone they're in. One of the important settings here is the new team member's role and access. In Mighty Call, there are three roles, agent, manager, and administrator. Assign the appropriate role to each user and manage their access settings depending on what you want them to do. For instance, manage the agent's access to calls, voicemails, and messages within certain business numbers. For managers, you can also change the sections they will have access to and whether they will have the supervisor function or not. If you choose the administrator's role, the user will have unlimited access to all interactions and sections of the account. To make call routing more efficient, you'll need to create groups. For that, click on create a group, give it a name, add all the users you want to be included in this group and hit save. Now you can use this group for your call flow. Here you can also edit the existing groups and see which call flow they're part of. Mighty Call is famous for its intuitive and flexible call flow builder. Let's see why. By clicking on incoming calls too, you can choose to which numbers the calls will be distributed. Let's add our local number here. Then choose if you want to receive calls from all customers or create a VIP or block list. Choose your business hours, set availability to 24 seven or have customized business hours. Choose the right time zone and specify your business's working hours. If you want your customers to hear personalized greetings, you can record and upload them by yourself. By default, it is set to hello and thank you for calling, but you can always change it. Our team will even help you record a greeting with Amazon Polly for free. Just send us your script. Choose how you and your team want to receive calls. You can access the setting by clicking on the customize button and choosing from nine different options. You can add an IVR, in other words, a voice menu, such as press one for sales, two for support, and other options, and set special call routing rules for your team. The Mighty Call IVR is multi-level, which means you can add as many tiers as your business needs. Let's see how it works. For example, if you set an IVR, then you choose where the call is routed. If your customer presses one, they will be forwarded to a sales team agent. If they press two, they will be forwarded to Peter, who is responsible for support. 
If your customer decides not to press anything, they will be automatically forwarded to leave a voicemail. However, you can change it to any of these nine different options. A call queue would be helpful if you have lots of incoming calls, but not that many people available to take them. Just choose some users from the team and add them to the queue. While the customer is waiting on the call queue, they will hear the music on hold that you can upload. The calls are distributed to each available user in sequence, and your customer has a chance to leave a voicemail if you enable play invitation to leave a voicemail every 20 or more seconds. The call to group option gives you the ability to set certain users within the team to take the calls. Moreover, you can choose the phone ringing sequence for your colleagues, sequentially, simultaneously, or round robin. If I want my sales team to receive calls at all at the same time, I choose the team and assign them the simultaneous calling method. The Mighty Call Call Flow Builder's capabilities are endless. You can check out all the routing options available at Mighty Call in our video here. The new tab that we are going to check out is about integrations. Let's see what MightyCall has in store there. MightyCall has an API that you can integrate with your system, and we also have native integrations with the leading CRM systems. Setting up these integrations takes a few clicks. But if you need some help, contact us and our support team will help you out. Now let's go to the account tab. You see all your account details here, your current plan, the price, the number of slots, the number of user seats, and the number of minutes, text and MMS left. If you need more numbers or users than are included in your plan, you can add them here. In the subscription section, you can see the list of features available on your plan. In the billing section, you can update your billing details and download the latest invoices. Contact us if you want to switch from a monthly plan to a yearly one, as we have a great offer for our annual plans. After all these steps, your account is all set and ready to go. Let's go to the supervisor workspace where you can see the live call center monitoring. You can see all the real-time statistics here. Real-time online calls, calls that are waiting to be answered, the longest waiting time, and missed calls for the last hour. You'll also see such key metrics as average waiting time, AWT, which is the average response time including all agents in all call actions over the last hour. Another important indicator is service level, which measures the percentage of incoming calls that are answered within a predetermined time frame, which you can set up. Thanks to these metrics, you can assess the call center's ability to meet customer expectations and improve its performance. When there are ongoing calls, a supervisor can use one of the available call monitoring methods to oversee agents. If you want to listen to the call without interfering, choose the call listening method. Call whispering is literally when a supervisor wants to whisper to the agent without letting the customer know. Call barging is used when a supervisor needs to interfere with an ongoing call to help a struggling agent and talk directly to the customer. And finally, the call intercept disconnects the agent from the call and the supervisor takes over the conversation. Choose the most appropriate method for each case and level up the customer-facing experience. The workspace includes lots of information and handy features. On the left, in the Recents section, you'll see your latest interactions for the past seven days, sorted chronologically by phone numbers. The most recent ones will be at the top, while the older ones will be at the bottom. You can switch between client and team conversations by clicking on the Clients and Team tabs. Just click on the conversation you need, and you'll see all the communication history in the central panel. Calls with recordings, voicemails, SMS, MMS, and notes that you and your team members can leave for every event there. In the right section, you'll see the contact card with all the contact information about a client or team member, their name, phone numbers, emails, and also internal comments by your team members. For immediate communication, simply press the call and send message or email buttons. The web phone is integrated into the system, so you can easily open it at any time and dial the number you want to reach. Please make sure you've enabled the microphone in the browser or your callers won't be able to hear you. At the bottom of the web phone, you can see the list of your business numbers you can call from and the gear icon for ringtone, microphone and speaker headset settings. Just open the dial pad and start entering the number. You'll see some suggestions appear. These are your contacts with the same set of digits in their phone numbers. Once you've dialed the number, hit call to start the conversation. In the Mighty Call web phone, you can transfer calls, add participants to the call, and open a dial pad to dial extensions. 
Let's test it and add another teammate to the call. So now there are three participants on the call. We've looked at the web phone functionality. Now it's time to check out the profile details. To open it, click the three dots next to your profile picture and choose profile and edit. Here you can view and update your first and last name, set up your personal information, your time zone and your forwarding numbers, the ones you will get calls from, from your business numbers. To edit your profile, click on the little pen icon on the left. Please make sure you filled out your emergency address in your profile. It ensures emergency response teams can locate you when you call for help in an emergency. Don't forget to update this address whenever you change your physical location. Without this address, you can't make calls or send messages. Of course, if you're not currently located in the United States or Canada, you can choose the option I reside in another country and don't have an emergency address. You see multiple sections here. Let's start with forwarding numbers. Call forwarding rules can be different for each user depending on how you want to answer calls. Via your cell phone, the Mighty Call web phone, the Mighty Call mobile app, check the links in the video description, an external IP desk phone or a soft phone. To enable call forwarding to an external soft phone or an IP desk phone, you'll need to use your Mighty Call login information in your IP phone settings. Now, when you've listed your call forwarding options, you can select whether the incoming calls will ring to them sequentially or simultaneously. If you choose sequentially, make sure to put the call forwarding options in the exact order you want them to ring. We recommend using our web phone first if you have your browser open most of the time, because combined with the agent's workspace, this allows you to interact with customers more efficiently. If you work on the go, it's better to put the mobile app option on top. This way, you'll receive calls on your cell phone first. In the Answering Rules tab, you can specify how to handle calls when your status is Do Not Disturb, when you're busy on another call or when you don't answer. In Greetings and Media, you personalize your audio greetings by choosing the music on hold, adding a custom ringback tone, and changing the message the callers will hear if they're directed to your voicemail or the dial-by-name routing option. Sure enough, you can choose one of the default audios, but if you want to add your own custom greeting, you can upload it here or record your own using the record via phone option. It works this way. Just enter your cell phone number and you will receive a call. Pick it up and dictate your message. It will be loaded into the system so you can select it. Also, if you're planning to use the dial by name option, you will need to make a recording with your first and last name pronounced clearly and add it here. When you're done, please check the dial by name option in the additional settings tab and save the changes. Finally, if you'd like to receive emails about new voicemails and their transcriptions, please put a check in the notification settings. That's it about your settings, but there's one more important topic I'd like to cover, the Mighty Call Call Center app. Let's check it out. The Mighty Call Call Center mobile app is available on iOS and Android. In the app, you can make and receive calls, read and answer messages, change your status, add and edit contacts, view communication history, listen to your voicemails and read the transcripts, listen to call recordings and block unwanted callers. For your outgoing calls, you can use one of the three calling methods, IP telephony, mixed method or cellular network. Use the IP telephony option if you have a good internet connection. This way, the customers you call will see your Mighty Call business number or caller ID, and you will not be using your cell phone package data or minutes, just your Mighty Call minutes. Use the mixed method if you have a poor internet connection. In this case, the call will go through your Mighty Call business number, it will also be displayed for your clients, but both your cell phone provider's minutes and Mighty Call minutes will be used. And lastly, if you have no internet connection, use the cellular network option. Your business number will not be displayed and the calls will ring from your cell phone number. Now you've learned all you need to know about the supervisor setup and workspace. If you still have some questions, you can always watch other videos or check out our help center. And of course, feel free to contact our support team for personal assistance.